Alright guys, uh, back with another quick video. This was a little bit quicker than our Earth spin metal video. Um, there are a lot of pretty good places in Venus to do spirit bloom farming. Uh, I usually tend to go for the Ember Caves. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. You spawn, turn left, and it's the first area you come to with enemies. Now, the thing to do in this area is, when I come to the area, I'll take a quick look around and see if I see any spirit bloom. Um, most of this is kind of based on a theory, but if you if you see some out there and you don't grab it, it might cause uh, some of the other potential spawn locations not to deploy any spirit blooms. I uh, can't prove it, but I did leave one alone one time just to see what would happen, and I couldn't get any more to spawn around it. Uh, there's another cave up here on the right. Um, I was a little bit too hopped up on Mountain Dew. Uh, I kind of missed it. I was worried about this last vandal that I had to kill, so I said, screw it. Oh, hey, I saw a spirit bloom and forgot to go check the cave for a chest. Um, another thing to watch out for in this area that can actually help, not necessarily farming chests, but for farming ingrams out of some of the bad guys, are instead of the Devil Walker public event, you can get a, a roving band of pikes where some dregs will show up on pikes. Uh, once those dudes do show up, kill the driver, not the pike, uh, take the pike, and all of a sudden be kill killing these enemies becomes pretty easy. Um, again, here's another, sorry about the jet noise outside, it's the uh, sound of freedom if you're hearing it on the audio. Uh, again, I missed another cave, um, but these caves are actually close enough to each other where uh, even if you do miss one, uh, you can come back around. It's kind of like Walter White said, it's not trying to get a good hand, it's how many hands you can get in in an hour. Um, get enough runs in, in an hour, 30 minutes, you don't have to spend an hour, hours long time to be doing this, you'll go crazy. Um, but if you need spirit blooms, if you need a couple for a weapon upgrade, and you just need 6, 8, 10 or something, um, almost guaranteed you could get those in one or two laps around this place. Um, if you see someone else doing a chest run, like I, I went past a guy a minute ago, try not to go uh, counter clockwise or clockwise. Try not to go the opposite of the direction that they are going. Uh, follow right behind them. Uh, even if they do or don't find a chest, if you stay close enough proximity, you're going to have the same results. Um, the uh, A lot of times, unless there's a specific uh, Venus... Uh, bounty for patrol missions I won't pick up a bounty unless it's the you know kill all the enemies in the area type bounty uh, just don't want to waste my time you know going and looking for you know patrolling an area scouting an area or ancient relic or artifact or anything uh, more about just farming the chests um, again with all just the same as the other chest runs um, don't bank on uh, getting a whole lot of good loot out of these things. Uh, more chest runs, putting more runs in. Uh, quality runs where you're not interfering with other dudes uh, to get guaranteed spawns uh, in some of the areas. Um, uh, mainly your focus here is going to be Glimmer, Spirit Blooms. Uh, you can get some pretty good Ingram drops for some of these guys around the area. Um, if you get the Fallen Majors or Ultras, uh, there's a yellow bar captain that I just killed. Uh, if you do one lap around the place, he's going to spawn back up. Uh, you can do one lap around and kill him. Go back the opposite direction from which you came. Check out a cave. And by the time you jump up there, he'll probably have respawned again. The, uh, I'm not sure why I got distracted there. The uh, devil walker that spawns in the area is uh, actually pretty easy to kill uh, even if you're solo, even if you're a tad lower leveled um, with some a little bit lower level gear uh, if you stay up on the balcony where the the captain and some of those vandals and uh, shanks come out of the cave if you stay up there there's actually three or four spots where the walkers just not gonna hit you um, the some of the enemies in this area have a pretty high respawn rate um, if you use the double jump trick uh, in some of the areas you can actually get pretty pretty quick respawns and uh, you can almost turn some of these arees into loot cave venus point zeros 
uh, pretty easily. Um, the if I'm needing uh, items to break down, money. Um, like I said in the other video, uh, I don't use a lot of spirit bloom. I just collect it and turn it into the Vanguard. Um, if some of the Vanguard bounties are pretty stupid that day, like they are today, uh, salvage bounty when there's no salvage match, I'll just pop up here, do a couple quick runs, try to get a public event in. Uh, if not, no biggie. Got plenty of spirit bloom out of the deal and some items to break down and sell for. Uh, weapons parts and plasteel for the titans but that's about it thanks for watching